Hello, I'm Dr. Matthew Miller, Superintendent of the Kearney School District, providing you with a board update for the month of September. The board meeting started with an update on school reentry. This is really a moment of celebration. Having students get back to learning, whether that's in person or online, is a great feeling. Seeing them in the hallways again has certainly been uplifting for the staff, and I believe the students are feeling good about that too. There's no question that beginning the school year has been a highlight for 2020. It has also come with its challenges. The district has been working to keep families informed about COVID-19 school exposures. Each situation is investigated thoroughly, and Assistant Superintendent Jeff Morrison shared with the board a rundown of what that looks like when the district gets word there's an exposure. The process is labor intensive for our staff members, but they are doing everything they can to help prevent further spread of the virus. We are following the guidance of the Clay County Public Health Center, and we are thankful for the staff members that are taking on these additional responsibilities to help protect our students and staff. Our administrators have learned within the flow chart the process is once they get that information that we have a positive case, whether staff or student, their first call is to the response. So once that investigation happens and we have, um, for example, that positive case, we're looking at everything. We're collecting class schedules, seating charts, activity, bus, and then we're looking at all, all those pieces. Now we're going back with teachers. Next, Mr. Woods, principal for Kearney Middle School, provided an update on the secondary school's hybrid schedule. He shared that there is certainly a learning curve for everyone. But it's been great having the kids there. Um, you know, some of our worries that we thought were going to be our hardest thing have been no ramps. So there's this big concern about what are we going to do with the masks? The kids, our kids amazingly have worn the masks from three to five year olds that are in this building to high school kids. It's, it's been amazing. Uh, at the secondary level, I'm speaking uh, uh, from most of these points in conjunction with Mr. Hoffman and Mr. Uh, Justison as well, but uh, kids are going with flow. You know, we've got kids lunchtime. You know, they're so spaced out in the classroom as much as we can, and then lunch is a social time, right? Now there's two at the table, and there's certain dots on the table that you have to sit on so we have the space. They, they've rolled with it so much. I think they're very appreciative of just being here. I think they want school too. I think a challenge, uh, there's a handful of challenges and, and I don't want to be a, a Debbie Downer in this, but um, it's overwhelming. Our, our, our staff were very appreciative of, of the, the prep time um, and they worked and they worked hard trying to manage kids every other day. Um, you're basically teaching a lesson in class, live in person. You're creating something uh, similar or different completely for the kids who are at home. Um, a lot of teachers have a virtual classroom which they're teaching. Uh, so there's three different things that you're, and that's if you only have one classroom. Following that information, our Director of Academic Services, Jennifer Kopp, provided an update on the tremendous amount of staff professional development and preparation that occurred during the three weeks prior to the start of school. We are thankful to the board for approving the changes to the academic calendar. You know, we got in um, 14 tech sessions within just a few days, you know, so teachers could learn the Google Classroom and the Screencast-O-Matic and Google Sites and Finally, the board heard an update on finances. The district has seen revenue shortfalls of approximately $2 million since the onset of the pandemic. Meanwhile, we have experienced over half a million dollars in additional COVID-related expenditures. With the board approved budget amendments, we are projecting an end of year fund balance of 20%. This is better than the initial budget passed in June. However, it's still a deficit budget. Several board members commented on their appreciation for the hard work of our staff members. It's, it is exciting to be back to school yeah. and, and a little bit of normal that we get to have, right? I mean, it's a, so thank you guys for your hard work. Tell your teachers to say. Please let them know. There's so much more support than there is negativity. I want to applaud all the staff, all the administration. I appreciate all the hard work. 
it's great to hear the stories about the kids in school following, doing whatever they can to learn. Despite all the challenges we are facing, we are off to a great start. We appreciate the support of our board and our community. Our team continues to pull together and we know that the 2020-2021 school year is going to be a great one. To watch the board meeting in its entirety, go to our website, ksdr1.net, and click District and then Board of Education. Thank you.